It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Hello everyone, welcome to another State of Survival episode at Wakarash Gaming. Explorer mission has been around State of Survival ever since the game was born. With the introduction of the limitless heroes of Lucky, Maddie, and Nicola, there are many new currencies needed to upgrade these heroes. State of Survival were kind enough to give you the opportunity to get those materials in exchange for your time. 2000 years later... Two such events are the Story Mission and the Hero Challenge Explorers. I put myself through the torture of playing them with the hope to get some materials. There are many videos out there and many opinions about what heroes are better. You have to use Lucky, Maddie, and Nicola, and there are two support skill slots that you can use. I personally found using Chef's and string support skills the best. However, many of you are still telling me that you are struggling to progress in the event. So in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why you are struggling and give you some cool tips to help you progress further in the story missions or the hero challenge mission. Now is also a good time to subscribe to the channel, slap the like button if you haven't already done so. This will help my channel grow and be recommended by YouTube. First thing, you need to understand that your Explorer Hero powers is different to your Battle Starts. If you don't already know, there are two types of starts per hero, the Battle Starts and the Explorer Starts. As you upgrade your heroes to rank General, both the Battle and the Explorer Starts will increase. Similarly, when the Limitless heroes are unlocked in your states, using the Limitless Potion to upgrade your heroes will also allow your heroes to perform better in the Explorer mode. Then. One of the most closely kept secret and many folks don't realize it is the hero profile where you can now add items to your heroes. These items are obtained in the Explorer Story missions and Hero Challenges first completion rewards. By adding the items to your profile, you are increasing your Explorer stats for your heroes. As you can see, I've added the binoculars and the sunglasses to my profile and this has boosted the Explorer stats. Another secret that is not widely talked about is the fact the grades of your weapon, blue being the lowest, then the purple, and finally the gold items. You can exchange the blue items to the purple items and subsequently exchange the purple items to the gold items. Unfortunately, you will need to increase the rank of your limitless heroes in order to add more items to your profile. I would personally prioritize Nicola as he's the only hero that can roam around the map and equip Nicola with the items that provide him with a better health boost. This is also because Nicola is on the front line and the one that is most likely to die first. So the higher rank your heroes and then add it with these secret features, then you're more likely to be able to progress further in these new explorer missions. Before I show you the next neat trick and tips to be able to complete the explorer level that you're stuck on, I would like to introduce you to today's video sponsor, Paxify. Paxify offers State of Survival players 10% to 25% in-game discounts. Thanks to their amazing service, many survivors are saving a lot of money. If you want to make some purchases and save yourself some hard-earned monies, then make sure you check out the link in the description below and make your monies go further than before. Now, let's jump into the Explorer mission. There are a number of challenges, but the main challenge is being killed by this infected Fian when they play Bam Bam. You will want to try to kill them before they can kill you. This is where you need to apply three key strategies. 1. Before you start the tough story missions or the hero challenges, make sure you are in the manual mode and running at normal speed. 2. I would advise to set Nicola in the middle, then use Strings puppets ahead of Nicola to provide him some protection. The other reason Nicola has to be in the middle is to allow him to throw Chef's grenade at the infected Fian before the infected Fian can do any bam bam. The same principle also applies to any large swarm of infected. If Nicola is at the backline, his strange to throw Chef's grenade at the enemies are limited by the radius that Seth bore. Finally, there are some hidden sections of the map where you can set strings puppet, which distracts the infected, thus giving protection to your heroes. As if you have many of the strings puppet conjured, then you're quickly going to be able to kill most zombies pretty easily. If you're still watching this video at this point, then you're one of the lucky few to find out another piece of secret. The cards that you select are pretty darn important to go further in the levels. So think carefully and select the right cards. Right now, 
I tend to prioritize hunter attack cards, damage reduction to infantry cards, or overall damage reduction from the infected card to ultimately increase the survivability. That's all folks, enjoy the rest of the gameplay video to see how I went about to complete this level. Please do smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notifications bell for more amazing videos.